welcome Harrison Greenbaum to my Lab Lounge. Hi. Okay, so you got some exciting news to share with me. Yes, I actually just got engaged to a girl from Nebraska. Oh! Thank you. <laughs> it's a fun sentence to say, because different parts of it are surprising to each of you. Yes. <laughs> right, like what a journey they just went on, huh? <laughs> They're like, engaged, what? A girl, no, Nebraska, <laughs> get the hell out of here. It's too many plot twists for a single <laughs> sentence. So now that you're engaged, when are you getting married? Yes, well, first of all, she's a hot white girl under 30, which I did not think I was gonna end up with. There you go. Because those are my three least favorite categories, right? <laughs> like, they're, they all believe in astrology, it's insane. <laughs> and I think I figured out why the hot white girls love astrology, I figured it out. It's because things go their way so often that on the rare occasion they don't, they've decided to blame outer space. <laughs> Can you imagine that level of confidence just walking into a bar? Like, the only thing that could block me now is the universe. <laughs> I would love that. Get rejected by a girl, be like, no, no, I get it, Jupiter. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we are, uh, we're planning the wedding, uh, which has been tough. You know, I'm not, I'm not yeah. a big fan of weddings. Nobody's ever honest at a wedding. Uh -huh. I was at a wedding a few weeks ago, and the bride was like, I'm so lucky, because I'm marrying my best friend. He's my best friend. Just once, I want her actual best friend to stand up, be like, screw you. I'm your best friend. That's your best friend? The guy you met six months ago on Tinder. That's your best friend. <laughs> the guy who satisfies you 25% of the time. Do you know why I know that? Because I'm your best friend. What? No, you sit the hell down, Sheila. You're ruining this day. And so many iconic comedians who headline Vegas, but you are the first to headline a Cirque du Soleil show. So you gotta tell me, what is that like? It's amazing. It's a huge, yeah. huge honor. Cirque is amazing. Uh, but I, did, I went to Harvard and now I'm in the circus, so they pretty much <laughs> cancel each other out, right? Yeah. It's like being straight and being stuck with this voice. There's no <laughs> net gain. I like that. They're like, what's his sexuality? I'm a registered independent. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta say, did you watch the midterms last week? Oh boy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been weird. We've had the two oldest presidents in a row, right? 70 yeah. and now 78. And yes. I think we need to stop with old people. Okay. Right? <laughs> like, there's an age minimum in the Constitution. You have yes. to be 35 to be president. Yeah. I'm suggesting an age maximum. Okay. I think if you wanna run for president, you should be able to run. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think the presidential race should include an actual race. That's what I think. That's what I think. If you want to steer this nation, you should be able to drive at night, don't you think? <laughs> like, don't you think it's weird to have a president who looks like he both loves soup and is bad at eating soup? <laughs> He's 78. Do you know what the average lifespan of a male in America is? Ooh. 78. <laughs> That's wild. He was on television a few days ago. He's like, this is my 10-year plan. I was like, not for you. <laughs> Not medically or statistically speaking, oh. I'm a fan, but be reasonable. <laughs> okay, Harrison, I know you're out there, you're watching the midterms. Do you do a lot of charity work? I do, I like make a wish, uh, Wounded Warriors. I try, I try to be a good person. Yes. Uh, I, I had a, thank you. Uh, I actually had a buddy call me up. He's like, can you do a 5K run for charity? Yeah. I was like, yeah, great. What's the charity? He was like, childhood obesity. Okay. I was like, yeah, I'll do it, but they're going to run with us, right? <laughs> Be weird if they're just watching. <laughs> I was like, how about this? How about this? How about you have them do it, and then we raise money by gambling on who's going to make it? <laughs> that feels like a win-win. <laughs> we both do stand-up comedy. I know I travel a lot. Do you travel a lot as well? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm in Las Vegas now, but I, I used to be on planes all the time. Actually, coming here, there was a medical emergency on the plane. I never experienced that before. Yeah. There was a guy, like, having a heart thing. The pilot got on the speaker. He's like, is there a doctor on the plane? Is there a doctor? Guy next to me was like, I'm a psychologist. I was like, sit the hell down. <laughs> what are you going to do for the guy? Are you just going to stand over him like, are you angry you're going to die? <laughs> Would you like me to call over a dentist so two people can't help you? <laughs> okay, I just, I don't even know how your mama handles you, but I know <laughs> your mother is on social media. Yeah, she's on Facebook now. It's very awkward. Yeah, and she's uploading all the old family pictures. Yeah. 
so she's doing it by taking iPhone photos of the photos while they're still <laughs> framed on the wall. And she doesn't turn the flash off. So her picture has that like this reflection of her taking the picture of it. <laughs> I had to call her. I was like, mom, you need to put a shirt on. Like it is <laughs> horrifying. Why isn't dad wearing pants? It's a leather couch. It's gonna stick. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison, I want to thank you for being here. Oh, thank you, you are so absolutely much. amazing. You can see Harrison headline Cirque du Soleil's Mad Apple Show at the New York, New York Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm.